hello what's up guys i am super excited to share another tutorial which help beginners to share setup singleton class singleton is a design pattern that is very popular in development most of the developers are using this design pattern it initializes your class instance single time only which static property and it will share your class instance globally with your whole app Now guys I going I'm going to share this in the Xcode project. I'm going to create a fresh project that will add the singleton class and now I'm using single UI. Click next. And the name of my project will be singleton example. And I and I will create the GitHub link and I will put this thing in the description so that you can download the complete project. Use script as a language, storyboard, and uh, use code data. Click next. Now, uh, I will put this in my desktop complete project and now create it. <clears throat> now, now, fresh project is created, and uh, now I will go to create a next fresh file a forward touch file click next and the name of my file will be singleton class that is a separate class I will inherit from an S object click next and now create and that class will be created in my project here you can see singleton class uh, it will be inherited from an S object I will skip the inheritance parts and copy paste the, the code that will save the time. And name of my class is singleton class, that is a static variable of shared. And in this class, I will create a shared user. So I will create the class of it. Okay, I'm doing something wrong but oh. <clears throat> I'll create a separate class below that is user object that will contain user first name and last name variable f name will be the first name string and l name will be the last name string type and uh, now I will copy this complete class here. Uh, here you can see that I will okay. Please subscribe my channel so that I will create this type of tricks here in this video. Now my singleton class is created with this singleton access, and now in this class I will declare my user object class is write it below and request for user function that will return the shared user class that is my simple class now in app delegate method that is uh, the did finish launching with option that is the method when you run your app the first time this app run and this method will be called I will create a constant variable here as my singleton class that I created and in this class I created a shared okay what I'm doing wrong okay shared the user object oh sorry uh, I function that that function request user object need to call here that I created in my singleton class that this function will return the singleton class of my object that uh, I will add it in the I will 
put that object in my constant user class user of variable and now in user dot f name I will write the f name Omar which is my name and in user dot l name that equals to follow which is my class name now this variable set the single instance of my class and that is basically setting the value of my singleton class okay I write in comment now in my view controller class here I am accessing the value of that singleton object that I said previously in my app delegate method I will show you how I, I will going to access create another constant of user and singleton class dot shared with the shared instance and now I request for a user that will return my user object now I am printing the user object that I set in the app delegate method uh, okay F name will be the first name and backslash user dot L name will be the last name. Now let's see the save value will be printed in my view controller class. I will run using iPhone 8 simulator. Here I set the value and here I access the value. Let's see if it prints right value my app is running in the simulator the simulator is launched now here is the breakpoint you can see the value is setting in the app delegate and it's finished launching method next in user object you can see the values initially set to here you can see that the value will be for first name and the name last name. Now run. Okay, now is my view controller class. Now the first name will be the Omar and L name will be the Farouk. Now here you can see that these values are printed here. Omar Farouk, you can see here in the log menu. That's it for the single tutorial. Please leave a comment about what I will cover in the next video. Or if you stuck in something, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching the video.